we've got the whistle from our official. That's Alexis De Silva controlling the action tonight. And we're underway. Pride on the pitch 2023 here at the lab. We talked about coming in here and, and making this a team that's fun to watch and a team that New Mexicans can be proud of. So if you're a New Mexico United fan, I don't know how much. I'll let you get to this one, T.L. Here's Beckford as he pulls this one just inside the corner. Here's Hamilton now. Picked up by Foster. He finds Swartz, who's unmarked. Swartz plays the delivery right in to Moreno. <laughs> and Armando Moreno gets on his bike to open the scoring. New Mexico takes the lead here in the 33rd minute. What a hit from Armando Moreno. Great job by Harry Swartz. To Have another look here at this TLC replay. Harry Swartz able to connect with Ryden. And then the bicycle kick and the replay being shown on the big board here at the lab and gets another round of applause from the 10,000 plus that are in attendance here tonight. And you see it right there, Mahoney, it was his responsibility to Mark Moreno and on the initial ball over from Harry Swartz. He finds Rivas, who's got four USL championship goals to his name so far. Leading scorer for the black and yellow. Portillo, and Portillo sends this one off the fingertips of Herrera. When he switch back, see Portillo carrying the ball from that distance. They're gonna step out and step up on it. It's like a three-point shooter in a basketball game. You know. Don't know if he's got range, and then all of a sudden he drains one from out there. Now you got to respect it. It opens up space in behind. Seymour making a run. First looking to play this up for Will Seymour. It's a great job to keep that ball in and make it dangerous. Here's Rivas now. He's got options. Daniel Bruce has scored once again for New Mexico. Two goals on the season for the Englishman, and it's a 2-0 lead for the black and yellow. Give some credit along that right side, as we mentioned, to keep that ball in and make it dangerous. You find Sergio Rivas, he puts the ball across to Daniel Bruce. It's a simple tap home at that point. Well done. Last few matches, and he has come through. It's a great pass from Sergio Rivas, by the way. He receives it all on his right foot, immediate tap through, and a first time, just back post, simple tap from Bruce. It looked simple, it wasn't easy, but he made it simple. Just go back post, you don't have to blast it. Well done. Great. That one, Segrist. Unfortunately for Segrist, get to it. Again, a bit of contact along the way as well, but still made something of it. First, plays Moreno forward. Flag stays down. Here's Moreno. Still Moreno on the left foot. And Moreno has that one saved by Herrera. Nearly snuck underneath him. Celebrating 70 years of keeping New Mexico moving forward. Here's Tejada. Cross goes in for Wheeler, and switchbacks have pulled one back here. With under 20 minutes to go, the substitute, Aaron Wheeler, finding the back of the net. A simple ball. The first ball that Wheeler touched, by the way, uh, since coming into the match. His first touch is a goal. American. It's a nice ball from Tejada. Was that touched in by Ryder? We'll have to get a better look there. And actually, it looks like it was Kalen Ryden. I think it's an own goal on Ryden there. And there it is. And that is the full-time whistle here at the lab. It's the first win of the Eric Quill era for the black and yellow.